Hi, my name's Chris from Discovery Learning. We've recently released an open source script called FireMods, designed to bring a range of customizable features to your published Articulate Rise projects. In this video, I'll walk you through how to download and install the FireMod script. And then we'll explore one of its features that lets you trigger custom scripts when a specific content block scrolls into view. Let's get started. You can find the FireMod script available to download from GitHub. Just visit the link shown on screen that's also included in this video's description. From the main page, click on the firemods.js file link to open its page. And on this page, click on the More File Actions button in the top right in order to download the file. Now you just need to publish your Rise project in the usual way and extract the contents of the zip file onto your desktop. Cut and paste the firemods.js file into the lib lib directory and open the index.html file in your favorite code editor program. Now to add the script to the index file, you can scroll right to the bottom and to save some time here, we can create a duplicate of the script tag found just here, making sure this is placed before the closing HTML tag and just remove the contents before the opening and closing script tags. Now we can set the source value to where we place the script by entering lib lib forward slash firemods.js and hit control S to save the file. And that's it. You can now load the rise contents index.html file in your browser and you should see the message coming from the firemod script being displayed in the console window. Try hitting F12 on your keyboard if you're in Chrome for example and this indicates that the script has successfully loaded. Okay, we can now take advantage of any of the features that the FireMod script has to offer by customizing the top section of the script to turn any of these features we might like on or off. We're going to be using the scroll triggers feature in the example project I'm working on here. Basically what I've created is a series of text on image blocks above one another on my Rise page. Separately, I have a collection of sound effect MP3 files for each type of bird. And I would like the related bird sound to play in the browser when the particular bird content block is scrolled into view. So first of all, we need to discover the ID values that Rise has given dynamically for each of the bird blocks once the project has been published. So to do this, I can change the developer mode log block IDs value to true and reload the project in the browser. Now, if you open the console, you will see that as we scroll down the page here, the FireMod script helpfully prints the ID value for each of the blocks as we move down. So we can go ahead and take a copy of each of these to use in the next step. So now we have our block IDs, we can turn the developer mode off because it's no longer needed. And now we can work within the scroll triggers object to set up the properties for each of our block IDs. So you can see that the script provides to us the format we need to use to set up a custom script per rise block. First, we need to enter the rise block ID. Then we provide our custom JavaScript within these backtick characters. And lastly, we have a true or false script, depending on whether we want our script to only fire one time when the block is scrolled into view. I've gone ahead and created a script for each of my block IDs that is going to place a console log message. And this is going to happen every time the blocks are scrolled into view. You can place your custom JavaScript code on multiple lines in the script file within the backtick symbols. Just be sure to separate each scroll trigger code block included within these open and close curly brackets with a comma. And now refreshing and viewing the activity in the browser, you can see that these custom console log messages are being printed to the console. And this happens when I scroll down or up as each block comes into view. So that appears to be working exactly as I want it to. So now I just need to update the script in each case to instantly load and play my audio files for each bird. I've created a new directory in the Rise Activity folder to place all of my MP3 files. And with that, I can now go ahead and write my custom script that will load and play each of those MP3 files in the browser when each bird is scrolled into view. And by the way, using AI to help with writing your code is a great way to expedite the process of getting the result you need. Just be sure to carefully explain what you're looking to achieve and where, for example, your asset files can be found in relation to your Rise project directory. Let's now preview the final result in the browser.
There are many more features that FireMods makes available to Articulate Rise developers, and we'll be publishing more tutorials that covers each of those features very soon. Discover more about FireMods and everything else we have to offer for Articulate developers over at discoverelearning.com.